What's going on you guys, it's Thomas here and today we're going to be going over my top 50 favorite free iOS 14 tweaks. And just to let you know, all of the repos for these tweaks are down below in the description. And if you're new to my channel, then before I actually start the video, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Only about 1 in 200 of my viewers actually subscribe, so I really appreciate if you do. Anyway, let's get on to the first tweak. Okay, so the first tweak, Accent, essentially allows you to change the default accent color of your iOS device. So essentially that means like switches, uh, control center buttons, etc. So you can change the color and you can set it so it excludes certain apps, it won't affect them. And there's a lot of color options, mine's currently set as teal, but there's a lot of different ones. So just to show you, as you can see, my switch right here is teal color, that's because of accent. The next tweak, Anna Launch, essentially lets you set a custom sound and animation for when you launch apps. So as you can see, when I launch my app, it fades and opens. It's really customizable. There's a lot of different sounds and animations. Let me just show you changing to the bounce animation for it faded. Now the app bounces before launching. The next tweak, R Chrome, is a pretty lightweight tweak that just puts your battery percentage inside your battery icon. And it looks pretty nice and it displays in the status bar as well as in the bottom of your control center if you have the battery widget in there. The next tweak, Blank Pass, essentially removes the numbers from your passcode buttons for a more modern, sleek looking lock screen. The next tweak, Cask 2, essentially animates how you scroll through UI table views, and it's pretty customizable. As you can see here is a one effect stretch, and I can change it to Helix, and I get a completely different Helix style animation, and it's pretty good for a free tweak. Let's take a look at the next tweak, Cast Switcher. Uh, this tweak essentially brings the iPad style app switcher to iPhone, and it looks pretty nice. Next, we have a new lock screen view while charging with charge mode. As you can see, when I plug in my device, my device shows the time and a black screen and some charging dots, which indicate my current charge level. Circle settings is a pretty simple tweak. It makes my settings icon circular, and that's about it. Clear Dock 12 makes my dock background color clear, essentially. It removes that uh, grayish background. Uh, color my battery, colors my battery icon based on my charge level. Green for charge, yellow for kind of low battery, and red for very low battery. And speaking about color, the next tweak, color my notifications, colors my notifications based on the color of the app icon. And it looks really nice. This is one of my favorite tweaks. Next, we have another control center tweak. Cowbell sticks the battery percentage at the bottom of the low power mode widget in control center. It's not really necessary if you already have R Chrome installed, but I thought I'd show you both just in case you wanna choose one. The next tweak, Cider, refreshes Cydia's UI. As you can see, we have a new launch screen. If we go to our sources, we can see how many we have installed at the top. As you can see, total source is 19. And there's a share button, which lets us easily export a list of all of our sources. In addition, on the home page, we can now see the number of packages we have installed. And there's a little bit more, but I'm not gonna cover it in this video. Cylinder lets you customize the animations for switching pages on your home screen and it's super customizable. It comes with a lot of uh, free uh, built-in animations and it's pretty good for a free tweak. With delete cut, when we type something into a text field, like several words and we wanna delete a whole word, just hit the shift and then the backspace button at the same time and it will automatically delete word by word rather than letter by letter. With 3D battery health, when you long press or 3D touch on the settings icon, uh, in the quick actions next to your battery action, you'll see your current battery health. Drag enabler brings iPad style drag and drop to iPhone. So as you can see, I can hold on something in a website, click home, drag it over and open my messages and then drag it into a text field and it will paste it in there. And you can do that for images, text, etc. Easy YouTube brings better gestures to the YouTube app. Slide left and right at the top of the screen to change brightness and on the bottom of the screen to change volume. Beware though that installation requires a reboot. The next tweak pretty much implies what it does in the name. 5Dock13 allows you to stick five icons in your dock. The next tweak, Flash Notify, essentially reminds you if you accidentally leave your flashlight on for a certain time period. It also can turn your flashlight off automatically. So for example, right now it's on, and now I get a notification because I left it on for 30 seconds. And when I tap that notification, my light goes off. Folded allows you to customize the UI of your folders and it's pretty darn customizable. Uh, there's a lot of options for customizing, for example, layout, frame, etc. And there's also a lot of free presets included with the tweak. Fluid tabs brings much more natural uh, gestures for navigating between tabs in your apps. 
Now you can simply slide between them rather than tapping the uh, icons in the nav bar. Gestures 10s brings iPhone 10 gestures to older iPhones. Swipe up from the bottom to open App Switcher to close an app and swipe from the top right down to open Control Center. The next tweak, Hide Labels 13, hides all your app icon labels, your widget labels, and also hides all of the labels of your app icons and folders in your app library. Next, we have iCleaner, which is more of an app than a tweak. Essentially, it will clear cache files, temporary files, and unnecessary system files to free up storage space, and it works really well. The next tweak, Icon Renamer, lets you easily rename app icons. So double tap on the app icon while in edit mode and you'll get a rename pop up. And here you just type something in. For example, I'm renaming books right here to uh, reading. And now I can exit edit mode and here I have reading on my books application. The next tweak, low battery banner, essentially makes it so I get a banner for my low power mode notification rather than a pop up taking up my entire screen. And another low battery tweak, LPM auto lock time lets you change the uh, amount of time it takes for your device to automatically shut off in low power mode. Normally the system restricts this, but with the tweak you can bypass that restriction. With Manila, I can 3D touch on a folder and quickly open up any of the apps in that folder. For example, I can 3D touch and open calculator and it's just a quick shortcut. New Term is essentially a full-fledged terminal application for your iPhone. Uh, if you need to restart your springboard or modify certain system files, that's what it's good for. No Breadcrumb 13 removes the breadcrumb from your status bar that normally pops up there when you're redirected between apps. No DND banner essentially removes the Do Not Disturb banner that normally appears on your lock screen and in your notification center when your device has Do Not Disturb turned on. Now playing icon sets the icon for your music app as the album artwork for the currently playing song. So I'm just gonna play a song right quick. As you can see, it's playing, there's the album art. And now my music icon changed to the album art of that song that's playing. With pill volume in control center, your volume and brightness sliders are changed into the shape of a pill. With power cuff, you can easily throttle your device's speed to conserve battery life, especially if you have an older device and the battery is kind of going bad. There's a lot of different options and you can have it throttle only in low power mode, but from my testing, that's a bit buggy. With prediction shortcuts, when you're typing in something and you press the space bar, all of your suggestions are replaced with a couple quick shortcuts, select all, undo, and redo, and it's pretty useful. Since there isn't an untethered jailbreak available right now, I definitely recommend installing Puck. Essentially, when your device battery gets really low, it will put it into a fake shutdown mode so that your device doesn't restart because, of course, then you have to re-jailbreak. Uh, it does give you a warning a couple of percents before it dies, and so let me just keep browsing. Uh, it just gave me the warning, and so now my device essentially is put into a fake shutdown mode. And depending on how I configure the tweak, uh, my device will turn on at a certain charge level or just right when I plug it back in. As you can see, I'm plugging it in and my device turns on. With pull to respring, to quickly respring my device, I can just pull down from the top in settings. My device will respring and it will load up on the lock screen. Real CC essentially makes your control center network toggles actually toggle on and off that network setting like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Replay adds a shuffle and a repeat button to your now playing menu. And so essentially, let me just show you right now, I have it set to replay this song and let me just bring it to the end of the song. And once the song ends, as you can see, the song's gonna restart. The next week, Rofi adds a little app launcher to the side of your screen. You can just slide out and then tap on any of the apps and it will launch those apps for you. It looks really good when you're not using it. As you can see, it looks kind of transparent, so it doesn't really get in the way. The next tweak, Safari Wallpaper, adds a background to your Safari New Tab page. It looks pretty nice and is pretty customizable as well. As you can see in the settings, we have an option to use our Springboard Wallpaper and set different wallpapers on light and dark mode. If you notice my settings looks different, that is because of Shuffle, a really customizable settings tweak that allows you to completely change the UI of the settings app. Next, we have slide to show notification, which makes it so when we slide on a notification, it expands it rather than opening that app. And when we close it out, it of course clears the notification. Next, we have snowboard, which allows you to theme your home screen icons, and you can install themes from Cydia. If you're wondering, this theme is Lotus. 
spot clear on close modifies spotlight on your iPhone so that when you type something in there and then close it out, it clears your input. So as you can see, I'm gonna close it, then I'm gonna reopen it, and it's completely clear now. Next, we have tap tap lock, which makes a triple tap on my springboard lock my device. After that, I have Tempus Romanum, which essentially gives my lock screen and status bar a Roman numeral clock. Uh, right after that, we have Trans Lock, which allows me to customize my lock screen UI. So right now, I have removed the blurred background from the passcode area, as well as the Touch ID text. And finally, we have Volume Percent, which essentially modifies our volume HUD, both the miniature one and the expanded view, to add the volume percent at the top of it. All right, that's pretty much it for today as far as tweaks go. If you got this far in the video, please do consider leaving a like, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.